know there's a heaven. Absolutely. Why? Why? Because the Bible says so. So you put your trust in the Absolutely. Bible. Absolutely. And you think that's solid proof. Absolutely. Yes. And there's a thousand things that I could share with you where you'd go, get out. That is amazing. Try me. How many prophecies would impress you? If, you, if the Bible predicted the future and nailed it, would 50 prophecies impress you? Maybe. A hundred? Maybe. 150. I don't know. Come on, at some point you got to be getting impressed. I mean, if the Bible had two, 150 prophecies that it just nailed, wouldn't you kind of go, hmm, it hasn't missed any? That's pretty yeah, impressive. I guess. Okay, 230. Sure. That's impressive, man. It nails dates. It nails people. It nails events time and time again. It's supernatural. Listen, right now, God is begging you to consider it. He's begging you to consider it. It's his word. If you dig into it, I'm telling you, it'll prove itself to you. It's axiomatic. It'll prove itself to you. It proves it. And it's all about wanting to save you. That's all God wants to do. See, God doesn't want you to go to hell. Okay. He doesn't want that to happen to you. I know maybe right now you don't care too much about your life, but I know you do to a degree. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, really. Would you sell me your eyes for $3 million? No. Yeah, because, I mean, come on, man, they're your eyes. Now, Jesus said, your eyes are just the window to your soul. Imagine the value of your soul. And then he went on to say, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? You don't want to lose your eyes, dude. You don't want to lose your soul. Now, listen, what do you know about what Jesus Christ did so you don't have to go to hell? Do you have any idea? He supposedly got nailed to a cross to die for my sins. Let me tell you why he did that. Because the Bible teaches there's no forgiveness of sins without the shedding of blood. So God himself, Jesus Christ, did the nicest thing. You think people are bad? God did the nicest thing for you. He died for you. He shed his blood so your sins could be forgiven. Now, man, maybe some people have been nasty. God has been extremely kind to you, and he proved it by dying while you were still a sinner. Okay. Now, your sins can be forgiven by God. He says he'll forgive you, and on the day of judgment, when you stand before him, he'll say, not guilty, come on in.